All right, what's going on, guys? This is Maury and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Today we got a uh, Stone Brew. This is their Espresso Russian Imperial Stout. This thing weighs in at 11% alcohol. Yeah. Um, I've been waiting to get at this one. I have one in my cellar, and hey, thanks for busting yours out. Yeah, no problem. Every other year, Stone kind of does a variation on their Imperial Russian Stout, and uh this year, 2013, it's the Espresso, so we're going to get right into it, let you know what we think about it. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, we just, I'm sure you guys, we just reviewed Coffee Bender yeah. from Surly. This, that is a straight up brown ale with, and they, they brew it with coffee. Yeah, for a 5.1% brown ale. This is reminiscent of that it is on the aroma. I mean, it's huge. Huge I get a coffee. little more of stout like qualities that I roastiness. Would get, yeah. I get more roastiness. There is this. definitely a lot of roastiness here, but I agree with you. The dominant aroma on this one <laughs> is coffee. espresso beans and like freshly ground espresso beans. And I, mean, I will say it's more of an espresso than a coffee. It is, yeah. Like the aroma, like you it's know, it's got that deep, rich, roasty, real smell. deep and rich. Tons of coffee, oh. tons of roastiness. A mild sweet. Mild though. It's it's there. You knew I was coming out with that yeah. though. It's like a mild sweetness coming from this. But thing. I feel like I was just about to say, for an imperial stout, it's not as much sweetness as you would typically get. Right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> wow, what a good beer. That's nice. Huge coffee notes. Huge. Like real huge. Mm -hmm. A nice, it, it follows the nose, frankly. I mean, I get a nice roastiness after you get that. You could tell me this was oak barrel aged, and I'd believe you. Yeah, I could see that. I get kind of an earthy woodiness to it. And uh, I get a little alcohol burn on the back end. A little bit. You know, Not a lot, but a little alcohol burn. Yeah. You can feel it. I got the sweetness more on the taste than I was getting in the aroma. Yeah. But I will say that it is relatively short-lived because in comes that coffee bean-like bitterness on right. the back end that kind of coats your entire, entire palate and just, you know, really puts a lid on that uh, sweetness pretty quick. I get like, I think it's because of the aroma you're kind of inhaling as you're drinking. I get that coffee... I get that sweetness that rolls in, but then the coffee comes back around and just squashes the sweetness. Yeah. And then I get that kind of earthy, woody barrel character, which, I mean, it's not barrel aged, but I'm getting a kind of a earthy woodiness out of this beer. I, can I think see it's more of a dry finish. You know, it, it just is. reminds me of a of it, an oak It's the coffee beer. beans that are kind of, you know, really shining on that back end. They are, that yeah. are really the bitterness and the oiliness from them. I was going back and forth between a 4.25 and a 4.5. I'm going to give it a 4.25, I think. You know, it's a fantastic beer. And quite honestly, this is my personal opinion, I'd reach for this over a breakfast stout. I'd reach for this over a lot of, I'd, I'd reach for this over a wake and bake. This is a really, really good beer. I think I've rated breakfast stout at a 4 in the past, and it's definitely a good beer. But I like this one a notch better. Um... Is not the best coffee beer I've ever had, but it's definitely up there. It's a 4.25 for me. Yeah, for me, I feel this is an outstanding beer. Outstanding is a 4.0. I'm going to go with a 4. Uh, it's got a fantastic flavor profile. I like it. You know, those, those beers are all, to me, this one, Breakfast Out, Wake and Bake. I feel they're all in the same category. As far as flavor, taste, yep. mouthfeel, I do think that if this had a little bit thicker mouthfeel, I would go 4.25 to possibly 4.5. I think it's a 4 for me, and uh, but that's an outstanding score, mm -hmm. and it's an outstanding beer. So yeah, 4 out of 5. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.